Hey guys, MJ at 3D Elementary. I want to share with you today about my experience with Bowden Tube versus Direct Drive. Now, Direct Drive is when your extruder motor, your uh, stepper motor, is right above, almost connected to, maybe connected to your hot end. Now, Bowden Tube is where your extruder motor, your stepper motor, is you know nine to eighteen inches away from your uh, hot end. And so there's a lot more wiggle room in that tube in between the motor that's pushing the filament and where it's actually getting pushed out of the hot end. Now where this matters is something called retraction. Retraction is how much the filament has to suck back in when it's picking up and traveling to a new place or stopping the extrusion of filament. In a direct drive, it just has to retract just a little tiny bit, not much at all. However, in a Bowden setup, it's got to retract a lot, maybe five millimeters, maybe more. And my experience was I was having so many failed prints on the first layer where that's actually the face of my products. Uh, and I didn't make the connection that it might be the Bowden tube. I ran across a conversation online that was debating the, the uh, advantages and dif disadvantages of Bowden tube versus direct drive. And I thought, based on the comments I saw in that video, I thought I'd give it a shot, upgrading one of my Ender 3 V2s to a direct drive. And there's a, there's a lot of kits you can get on Amazon. I did this and it changed everything. My first layers were almost perfect every time, which was so much better. I could print on glass, I could print on PEI, I could print textured, non-textured. Any way I sliced it, it was really adhering well to the bed and I was just having very few failed prints. So I eventually wound up upgrading all of my Ender 3 V2s to direct drive and I've, I'm I shot video of that. I'll try to release some of those videos in the near future because if you have an Ender 3 V2 or even an Ender Pro, we also are an Ender original Ender. We have an original Ender 3 that we've upgraded and it's just as good as any of the others. Uh, as w Equally as good as the Ender 3 V2s with the direct drive. Anyhow guys, this is my experience with 3D printing. When I upgraded to direct drive or when I got my S1 that has a direct drive built in, it changed everything. And I should have known that because I have a Prusa MK3 i3 uh, that was my first printer and it printed like a boss for a long, long time. And it printed really sturdy and well with very few errors. So I should have been clued in earlier, but that's my experience. The direct drive far outweighs any potential negative effects, which I have not experienced even one, to be honest. Direct drive is the way to go from my perspective. Um, I'm MJ Perry. Thanks for watching and keep on learning.